Hey guys, Vince Luca here, and today we're going to be defeating Grim, the lava boss at the forge. So what you want to do first is uh, examine him, and this is going to tell you if he has the condition which is uh, superheated. Uh, basically his feet are in lava, giving him uh, some reduced resistances. He's still resistant to uh, a lot of the stuff, he's actually immune to a lot. But bludgeoning damage uh, works really well on him. Everything else, like necrotic, fire, lightning, um, he's immune to that, so don't use any of that. The little white arrow means you can use it, but he's going to take little damage, like 50% from that. So thunder, acid, piercing, and slashing does also work on him. Uh, he's just not going to take that much damage from that. Bludgeoning is the one that uh, really hurts him a lot. If you don't have uh, bludgeoning... Uh, you could use maybe cold as well and uh, force I believe you can use force force uh, actually works from a spiritual weapon so if you have a character like uh, Shadowheart who can summon spiritual weapons this can be good so at the beginning of the fight you should summon the spiritual maul which does bludgeoning damage which is very useful against Grim so summon that and a uh, good spot would be right in front of him so that in case he walks away you might get an opportunity attack and uh, basically what you want to do from here is try to get into position or walk closer to Grim so that uh, you want to keep him in lava his feet in lava so try to not make him move around and uh, if he does move, then he's going to take opportunity attack damage, which is also useful. You could use lightning damage. So in this case, I'm going to try lightning damage. It only did 10 damage there, but it's a start. You're going to have to chip away at this boss. Um, it's a pretty long fight. Very hard. You're going to do some healing. But see, he tried to walk away there and all my characters got some critical hits on him, which is now at 175 HP. But just keep, try to keep him in lava, attack him as much as you can uh, with whatever he's not immune to. And uh, during the fight, the lava will go away. He might do like a, a quake stomp. Um, I don't know what makes the lava go away. Maybe it's turns, maybe two or three turns. But if you have someone always next to the valve, so in my case, I had my character next to the valve. So every time the lava would go away I would switch to that character turn on the valve and make sure that the lava comes back and that he's still superheated and that uh, some of his resistances are gone so as you're fighting and you know he's moving around and everything try to keep him at least one foot in the lava always have someone next to the valve to activate the lava and uh, just chip away at him with some arrows, bludgeoning damage, and stuff like that, and uh, you'll beat him. As you can see there, I almost lost my entire party. I wasn't doing a lot of healing. So uh, heal as you go, and you should be fine. Hope this video helped, and if it did, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.